safely arrived. We're at um, a place called Chaffee Dam, which is near Nundal. Um, the reason we're here is we can get the boat off the roof, which is just there, and um, we're going to go up the forest and try and get ourselves a deer to um, stock the freezer levels up. So we'll see how we go with that over the next couple of days. Uh, other than that, we might do some fishing, a bit of full driving. Um, we'll be here for a few days at least, so um, yeah, looking forward to it. So Stu and I are just going up into the forest to um, go check out some four-wheel driving tracks. Um, we might go get some wood, we're not sure. Um, we might still go. Yeah, let's see how we go. I just want to have a bit of a scout yeah. around too, see if um, I can find any areas that are oh, look like the sign or something for deer. Yeah. We're not allowed to hunt today because we've got to have permission to do it, but um, I've got my permission for Thursday, so yeah, just have a look beforehand, see if we can find out an area where the deer are, and um, go yeah, we'll go there. from there. Yep. Today Stuart's going to go hunting, I'm just taking along for the ride. Um, he wasn't meant to go hunting until Thursday, but he managed to get today, um, which is good. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully we have luck. If not, Thursday um, is another day. So yeah, we'll see how we go. enough driving around haven't seen anything yet um, so I I'm gonna go for a walk for about an hour uh, just a track that I've regularly done before but um, yeah hopefully this proves to be fruitful all right let's go there's a little bit of sign Um, considering this rain, I dare say it has to be pretty fresh. turnaround point. No luck so far. Um, yeah, we'll head back to the car. It's never over to you back to the car. I've had them pop out on the way back before, but yeah, they must be all curled up in the bush getting out of the rain because there's plenty of sign, but um, yeah, none around. I'm not sure if you can see them up there. Black cockatoo.
Yeah, well, no luck that time, but I think I'll come back there early. Uh, I've got another permit in another two days, so I'll come back then and have another walk with that at dawn, I reckon. Just been utilising the rest of the afternoon to go and have a scout around. See if we can find, uh, well, I'm trying to come up with a plan for Thursday morning when I'm coming back here. <clears throat> um, yeah, I've found, a, found an area and it's got a real nice clearing in it. So I think what I might do, first thing, first light, I might go and walk the um, walk the trail that I walked previously. Because um, there was a lot of sign there and they're probably, um, that first light, I'm thinking they might be coming out of the woods and crossing into the native where because the, the other side of that um, well left hand side of the track as you're walking up it it's got uh, like farmland and that over there so they go and they go and eat there and then they go and shelter into the um, into the forest at night so I'll try that at first light if no luck there I will um, head up to the clearing and I think I might set the hoochie up I'll hike in and um, I'll yeah I'll sit there for the rest of the day and um, yeah, just scout the edges of the pines and um, see if I can get onto one there. Alright, it's Thursday morning, it's time to head up the bush and see what we can find up there. Um, the rain's held off tonight, which is good, so um, yeah, hopefully it's still the same when we get up the top there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go walk that track first of all, where I've seen all the sign. And uh, after that, I'll um, head to more open areas and have a scout around and see if we can find anything there. And fingers crossed, we have a bit of luck. Well, parked where I want to be. Um, We've got the wind coming from behind the direction I'm going to be walking, so that is definitely not ideal. Um, but it seems to be swinging all over the place a bit. But um, yeah, I'm just going to wait probably another 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes till first light, and we'll get out walking. Well, it's still not quite daylight yet, but I'm going to get moving just because the spot I want to try, where I've seen the seem to be crossing from the uh, native to the pines, is yeah, a good 10 minute walk that way. So. Yeah, you're going to get moving now. Sign there's pigs around. Wombat to say hello. Doesn't even know me yet. Must have a bow again. Seem a bit wounded. There he is, young spiker. You beauty, didn't get too far. Well, that was a good find, right at the end of the trail too. I knew there was plenty of sign here, but I actually thought I was going to see a pig today because there was so many uh, hoof prints from like, bigger and smaller all walking together. Yeah, just got him in a tree hanging, bleeding, just going back to get the car to get the other stuff so I can uh, quarter him. Well, we'll see how the front shoulders look because a little bit of a distant shot so I decided to go for the front shoulders instead of the head and um, yeah 
one of them might be salvageable. We'll see how it looks. We'll also get the back straps and some ribs for Boris. All right, time to go clean this deer. I think that's about as high as I'm going to get him. It takes a bit of lifting, even with the gut out. Remember to always keep your knife sharp. I just tried to take a shortcut again then because the rain's coming in. Kept skinning it without a sharp knife, slipped off, cut straight into my finger. One delicious looking back strap. It's actually quite a decent size. And another. Yum. Shoulder. See how the other one looks. The other side's the side it means. Hopefully it's all good. Ugh. Don't know. No, no good. But we got heaps of meat off it anyway. Well, Shemaine is going to be absolutely stoked with that. She um, said to me at 5 o'clock this morning when I left, she said, um, don't come back without one. So, good news, babe. I'm bringing one home. <laughs> uh, she'll be stoked. Someone loves the smell of me at the moment. Won't leave me alone. <laughs> Got a little workstation set up. Run a mortar off a hose. And yeah, we'll get it cut and bagged into dinner size portions for two people. Oh, we're on to the second hind quarter. Yeah, we've got plenty of bags. We've even got some little dog food off cut for the last one. Another roast. All those bags down there, we're gonna have heaps of meat. It's gonna save us a fortune. He's a lucky boy. <laughs> Boris loves it when we bring one home. And here we are with the end result. We have 33 meals uh, for two people, that is. So 66 meals and five bags of dog food. So, yeah, definitely worth it. And um, will save us a lot of money in the long run. All right, last night at Chaffee Dam. Fire's lit. The boss is on to dinner. Mm. And um, even Bori Boy gets a special dinner tonight. He gets a bit of a uh, bit of the venison offcuts in a beef stock with a handful of frozen veg. <coughs> Slow boiled on the fire. What a spoiled dog. <laughs> but he'll love it. No doubt about it. What are you doing, babe? I'm stirring Bori's dinner. <laughs> So no, it's very steamy, but it smells good. He looks pretty excited. <laughs> Get over your greens. Sit. Shake. Oh, good, good boy. boy. Oh, sleep, sleep. Eat up. You haven't missed a drop tonight, have you, big fella? He's <laughs> even digging through the grass trying to find leftover bits of carrot and venison sinew. Alright, time for his arthritis tablet. 
Very <laughs> cool. Yeah. Catch. And simple as that. His pills are taken. <laughs> What's cooking, babe? Um, we've got some mushroom, like a mushroom dew that is um, cooking away at the moment. Then we've got some um, venison, which is pretty venison. Yeah, rump, I think. Rump, venison, rump. And we've got oven baked bread, and then a little bit of a salad. So, yeah, I Yum. think it'll be nice. <laughs> Smells good. It does. There we go.